Welcome to All About the Farm. We are gonna be learning all about farms today. It's gonna to be so cool. Did you know that there are farms all around us? Everywhere, so many farms, okay? And they grow and raise so many different kinds of animals. You'll find them all over the world. Farms are so important, okay? It's how we get our food, okay? We, would, we wouldn't be here without farms, okay? So I wanna read you a little bit of this book that I wrote for you, okay? All about farms. Look at that, okay. A farm is a piece of land used to grow crops and or raise animals. People who grow plants or raise animals are called farmers. Farmers can be, farms can be big or small. There are many different types of farms. A farm that produces fruit or nuts is called an orchard. Isn't that cool? All right, this is an apple orchard. These are lemon trees. These are pistachios. This is an almond tree, an orange plum, and cherries. Isn't that cool? A farm that produces grapes is called a vineyard. Look at all those yummy grapes. A farm that raises and trains horses is called a stable. A farm that produces milk is called a dairy farm. Animals are raised for meat. It is a branch. There are farms all over the world. Farms are very important. All right, I want to show you some other things about farms. Okay, here are some pictures of farmers. Okay, look at that. Oops, sorry, the light's shining on me, buddy. Look at this. Farmers can be old, they can be young, they can be girls, they can be boys, they can be men, they can be women. They're all over the world. Isn't that cool? Anyone can be a farmer. Here's some pictures of a farm. Look at that, they can look so different. Everybody raises different things. All those vegetables you see, all those animals, everything, so different. And farmers need tractors to help them get their work done. Look at all those different types of tractors. Oh, and barns are very important. Sometimes barns help store animals. Sometimes they're there to store different kinds of food. Maybe they're to store food for animals. They serve all sorts of different purposes. And these little ones right here that store grains and things, those are called silos, and we'll learn more about those later. But they are all over the world. Isn't that super cool? So, as we're learning about the farm, I want you to keep in mind that they can look very different. Not all of them, like around here where we live. We live in Washington, and we have a lot of orchards where we live in Wenatchee, Washington. We have a lot of cherry orchards, we have a lot of apple orchards, and we have a lot of peaches and pears. But if you were to go to another state or another part of the world, you could see olive trees, or you might see lemon trees or orange trees. It'd be so cool, maybe banana trees. There'd be so many different things you could see. Everywhere there's something different. And did you know there's also my favorite things like where chocolate comes from or coffee beans or the cocoa bean. That's where chocolate comes from. Pretty cool. Okay, so we'll be learning so much.